let's look at how intermolecular forces affect physical properties. So there's a few physical properties we're going to look at. Uh, surface tension, viscosity, boiling point we've already kind of looked at. So the strength of the attractions between particles um, can really affect the properties of, of the substance. So if you have these two molecules, so these are two carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids can form two different um, hydrogen bonds, so they're really, really strong. So they form actually dimers. They're called dimers, and, and basically they, they kind of stay together when you um, when you boil when you uh, melt something. They're really strongly attracted to each other, uh, more so than let like, something like propanol, which only can form one hydrogen bond. So this has a a lower melting point than um, this carboxylic acid because you have to break these two bonds in, in order to um, in order to change the phase of matter. So. The, more, the stronger the intermolecular forces, the higher the boiling point is going to be for that one. So viscosity is another physical property. Um, it's, viscosity is the resistance of a liquid to flow. So it's like how easy do the molecules move past each other. Um, so you, you can measure that. There's, you can use a viscosimeter to, to measure you know, how the, the flow of a liquid. And so you do this sometimes when you make polymers. You'll make a polymer and then you can... One way to characterize a polymer um, is to kind of measure its viscosity. And again, the stronger the intermolecular forces, um, the more viscous the liquid's going to be, the more um, those molecules kind of stick together. And the way you can, you can decrease the viscosity is to increase the temperature. So when you increase the temperature, the molecules move, um, they have more, molecules have more energy, they can move past each other easily, and then the liquid will flow a little bit easier. So if you've ever made um, candy, uh, the one, one thing that you can do is you kind of heat it up. So if you think about making like uh, caramel apples or something. Um, you can you heat up the, the caramel and then it's easier to flow past each other and then it, then it kind of hardens when the temperature um, is lowered. Um, another physical property is surface tension. Surface tension, you have experienced surface tension if you have ever jumped into a pool and did a belly flop, right? There's that skin on the surface of a liquid. Uh, that's surface tension. And so you have these little these little water striders, or um, if you Google Jesus lizard, those are pretty cool too. Those little lizards that run across the surface of the water. They can only do that because water has a really high uh, surface tension. And so again, the stronger the intermolecular forces, uh, the greater the surface tension is going to be. And what's happening here, if you, if you really think about it, I'll kind of zoom in over here. Um, if you Oops. So, um, right here. So you have molecules. These are all water molecules. So imagine you have water molecules. They're all in like the bulk of the liquid in the center of the liquid. And each one of those molecules is attracted to all the molecules around it. But on the surface, you have molecules that are attracted to each other, like on, on the same level and, and downward, but there's nothing in the opposite direction to kind of counteract that pull. So the molecules on the surface tend to be really, really attracted to each other. And that's kind of what makes that the surface, um, that's that skin on the surface. Something kind of related to this is capillary action, and that's the rise of liquids of very narrow tubes. So you, you may have seen capillary tubes, uh, maybe in like AMP, you might do something like that. We have this really thin tube, or if you ever test, um, oh, if you ever have to give like a little, like get your iron tested, there's a little capillary tube, you kind of prick your finger, and then you put this tube right next to it, and, and your blood just kind of like jumps in this tube. Um, and so what's happening there is like, you here's the there's just water, there's a little water droplet. Um, the water wants to minimize the surface area, so it kind of starts pulling up other water molecules to decrease the exposure uh, of that surface of the liquid. And so it kind of crawls up this tube, um, but you know, pretty much by itself. It just, it's kind of cool to watch. You can probably Google that one too. And that's really, it's, it's related to two different kind of forces. So you have cohesive forces and adhesive forces. So cohesive forces are the intermolecular forces that are binding similar molecules. So if you just had water, we're talking about like the, the um, hydrogen bonding in, in water. So those are the forces that are kind of holding those water molecules together. But then the water is also attracted to the surface. Um, and so those are called adhesive surfaces or adhesive, adhesive forces. Sorry, so it's, it's um, attracted to the surface of the uh, of the tube or whatever you're you're working with there and depending on which force is uh, stronger you're going to get a different meniscus so if you have um, like you've seen water water in a graduated cylinder the meniscus kind of looks like that right and then you read the bottom of the meniscus so in this case uh, the adhesive forces are actually stronger than the cohesive forces. So the water is more attracted to the, um, the size of the container than it is to each other. So you get a um, like a U-shaped meniscus like that when the adhesive forces 
are stronger than the cohesive. And then if you had something like mercury, and you can look, um, we can find a mercury barometer somewhere. Uh, it actually goes the other way. And this is what happens when the, so this is like mercury and this is like water. Comparing them both to like a glass container. This happens when the cohesive forces are stronger than the adhesive forces. So when the molecules are more um, attracted to each other than they are to the sides of the container, you get uh, a meniscus that, that's kind of like upside down.